Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shah, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahawa Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakadash. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah been the name of His only begotten Son, who they eagerly called Jesus Christ. Now, when you're thinking about these snake charmers that's living in Babylon, the Great America, you see that they uh, don't know their enemy. See, they thinking that the enemy is some type of pet or some type of uh, trained animal. See, some type of domesticated animal that you can uh, play around with and trust around your children and uh, trust this uh, animal to coexist with you to where they are going to be harmless to you. They're not going to cause any harm. they just a, like a, a play toy. They're a harmless toy that you can play with. See, they don't understand this is a deadly animal that seeks to kill you, that seeks to destroy his uh, opposition to seek to seek put venom into his um opposition his adversary see and that this 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 animal he want to put all his uh venom in you and he see everybody as an adversary see other snakes other animals everybody is an adversary to this animal. That's why the scriptures call him a blind adder. He's blind to anybody other than himself. And he's trying to eliminate them and use his weapons against them. See, if he like a python, he's just trying to choke them out. Or if he like a cobra, cobra, a snake or a rattlesnake, he trying to put that deadly venom inside of him. And this is what our people are confused about because they've been trained and hypnotized and uh, pretty much brainwashed to think that this is a domesticated animal. See, they know it's, it's vicious uh, virgins of this animal. Just like you have a lion uh, in the wild and you have a lion in the zoo. The lion in the zoo, he can be so-called domesticated. He can be domesticated when it comes to the person that trained him. But if you're not his trainer, he might just devour you like you just a piece of meat that the trainer threw at him to uh, pretty much hypnotize him or use some kind of training strategy on him. But let's go into the scriptures and see how these people don't understand. See, the Lord is going to give you the truth. See, he's not going to tell you a lie like these people. Now, I'm going to start with uh, I think Jeremiah is it two 20 something. Uh, okay, let me put in this here. Salakia. Okay, 13 and 23. It said, can an Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good or then may 
ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So this custom is talking about these wild animals. See, the wild animal is accustomed to devour and to go after his prey to be a predator. See, you have predatory animals. Some animals eat the, the, the grass, eat the, the berries off the trees. But you got some animals, they, they are predators. See? It's like a snake. A snake is a predator. He eats rats. He bites any kind of animal and try to devour them. Put poison in them and try to swallow him whole. You got anacondas and big uh, pythons that will swallow people. See? These things are created and customized to be predators. They're not custom Miles to be a, a house pet, even though you got wild animals that'll put them in a cage. See, another predator will put them in a cage and feed them. See, put them in a, a, a fish tank and feed a freaking snake. See, or put them in a zoo and feed the darn animal. When this animal is created to be a predator. So when you go into who is these people talking about? Let's go to King David. Now King David, he had a situation uh, with these Edomites. And the Edomites was uh, telling Saul that the people had a conspiracy against them, the other Israelites. And Saul had an evil spirit on him. So while Saul got this evil spirit on him, the Edomites joined into him because they are the wicked, the border of wickedness. So King David, he started to talk about these dragons. Now he pointed out uh, this one, about Doeg, when Doeg went and killed the 80 priests um, of uh, the Levites, he said that thy tongue dev uh, devised mischief like a sharp razor working deceitfully. So he's using the mouth of these uh, Edomites, and he said their mouth is like a freaking uh, weapon. See, it's like a sharp razor, but let's jump over to 58. What else did he say about these Edomites? See, now he called the Edomites the wicked. See, it was, it was a special name for these Edomites because they were known as the most wickedest people. I'm going to get that one next. It says, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her ear. So these uh, dragons is pretty much like an, um, a snake that's blind. And so when you go to verse 5, it says, Which will not hear the voice of charmers. Charming Never so wisely. See, it don't matter how wise the, ch the charmer is to these Edomites, they the type of snake that's like a death adder. See, you're not going to be no wise charmer to this death adder and, tra and train and domesticate this beast, this wild animal. See, this is the type of wild animal. He's like a snake. He, his, his mouth is a freaking weapon and he is going to lie and cheat and steal and you ain't going to convince him to be domesticated and follow no type of rules that you're going to try to train him to follow. He's untrainable. Look at verse 6. It says, Break their teeth, O God, 
in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. It's like a young lion. It's hard to train a young lion. See, he going to want to be the boss. He going to want to attack. See, he going to want to fill his belly. If he hungry, he going to eat something. And ain't nobody going to stop him. <clears throat> now, let's get that. The, the, who is the wicked? Let's make sure we identify that the wicked is the Edomites. It says, whereas Edom says, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. All right, now we're going to get Azariah, the prayer of Azariah. Because he identified these Edomites the same way. Because he was dealing with these Edomites. And this is what he said about them. He said, And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of God, and to an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. See, this is who the Israelites was delivered unto. These freaking Edomites. See, and they was always around oppressing and attacking the Israelites. These Edomites. That's why they was Esau and Jacob was wrestling in the womb because this was a prophecy that was going to happen. Uh, same thing with Exodus 17 and 15. They was going to war with Amalek Forever, from generation to generation. As long as they reproducing, they was going to be warring against each other. The book of Obadiah say they're going to be warring all the way to the kingdom get here. See, the battle is still going to be on. It's just in the kingdom, Jacob going to be judging, uh, being the police to the Edomites, pretty much. See, Jacob going to be dealing out the curses on these Edomites in the kingdom but the war is going to be going on until uh it's no more edomites to um put a curse on now you got um see the chapter 12 i'm starting at 10 and say never trust your enemy like iron like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. See, he he is he, he not gonna you're not gonna train these dragons. They they was made to be wicked, and they gonna stay being wicked. They can act like they domesticated, but that's why they have a, a, a their mouth is a sword. See, they gonna act like they domesticated. They gonna talk like they domesticated, but at the end of the day. They are not. Look at verse 13 and say, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? See, who going to pity a blacks, of Spanish, a Native American who is bitten by these darn Edomites, which is the so-called white man? See, who is going to pity these Negroes and these Hispanics? It says, and any such come near a wild beast. See, now some translation in the, um, when it's talking about Revelation, it's calling him a wild beast in Revelation. Who is the wild beast? See, this wild beast, let's go ahead and get that real quick. I'm going to get it in 13 because it identifies these dragons. It says, and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the wild beast. And they worship the wild beast. See, these Negroes, they trust him. They trust in a, a freaking dragon, man. They slave master. They oppressor. The cricket police. See, the crooked government, they trust in these people. They voting and doing all kind of 
uh, making all kind of covenants with these people who represent death and wickedness. It says, who is like unto the wild beast? See, who is like these wild animals? Nobody. It says, who is able to make war with him? See, he is undefeatable. That's why his pride is so high. That's Jeremiah 49 and 16, Obadiah chapter 3. Who can bring me down, he said. Who can defeat me? He thinks he is God. He's undefeatable. He has all the great armies of the world. Or he has the greatest army and military in the world. See, he think he can't be brought down. And so these are the people that's been trusted. And the Lord calls them charmers. A charmer is a fool that'll sit around and play music and dance. And see, that's what the Negroes do. They sit around and grab an instrument and, and want to be a, a musician and dance for these people. They're like Michael Jackson, James Brown, Prince, and all the rest of them. And, and what they die of? Poison. They say they got a drug overdose. They catch them in the elevator or somewhere uh, in a house, in a hotel room, and they poison. And they size it up as a drug overdose when the people probably poison they behind. See? But they thought they was going to charm him with their music and their singing ability and their talents. And they was going to defeat this wild beast. See, conquer this wild beast with their music abilities. See, trying to charm them. And all they found out was that there's no charming this wild beast. And ain't nobody gonna have no pity on your behind. See, because you thought that his wickedness wasn't gonna show up. You thought he was gonna be shining uh, and he wasn't gonna start to get rust, start to rust and show his true colors. See, you didn't understand that this man was a wild beast and you ain't going to tame him and you ain't going to charm him. See, and a lot of these musicians, they the main uh, snake charmers in, in dealing with this animal. These other nations find out too. See, they try to buck his authority because he reigning over the earth according to Je uh, Revelation 18. No, Revelation 17 and 18, he the one reigning over all these other kings. And they try to buck the system. See, he set them up as a, a, a puppet for him. They try to charm him and think they're going to trick him. And when he watching them the whole time like a snake, he, and he ready for them to make the wrong move, and he strike they behind. See? But these charmers don't understand that there's no change in Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You can't change him. You can't rehabilitate him. He was custom and created to be a wild beast, a predator. Let me end it on that note. Because I got a verse for that. That the Lord literally say he created these dragons for that purpose. 16 and 4. It said, the Lord have made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked, even Esau, the Edomites, for the day of evil. He created them for this situation. For individuals that don't want to trust him, but trust their own enemy. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to the elders pushing the truth, peace to the elect, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, uh, descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivities. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.